Tom, congratulations on your award. It's, it's great to have you be a member of the 440 Leadership Group. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a real pleasure. It's, uh, it's an honor and couldn't be more grateful for the, the chamber to have something to, um, to honor us with. It's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you do. You're a commercial real estate broker. What's that involve? Yeah. You know, I, I, when I think about my business, I, I like to think I'm a relationship builder. Um, the very essence of our business is just getting to know people and in doing that, understanding the problems they're facing. And a lot of those problems happen to be revolving around real estate. Uh, some of our clients are just personal investors and some are business owners that operate out of those buildings. And so um, I like to think of us as not only people people, but we're also problem solvers. And we understand the problems they have with their buildings and we'll, we'll solve them. So whether it's selling or leasing, uh, we do both. Uh, a lot of times we're working in the office sphere with office tenants mm -hmm. and uh, the other half we're working with retail tenants and you can find us all over Naperville. It's kind of our, our primary market and the place we love to do business. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. You know, on, on the um, personal side, you work with DuPage Pats, which is a, right. a wonderful organization. It's uh, amazing. And I kind of think about how much they must benefit from your knowledge with real estate because they're trying to end homelessness. They're, you know, trying to give, you know, in this case, a pad at a local church. Sure. But the whole idea of, of needing a roof over your head, whether it be a home or a business, I think must really appeal to you. Uh, it's, it's, you know, they, they work in parallel, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And growing up in DuPage County, I was never really aware of the issue. And so when I got into real estate coming out of college, it was more evident to me as I was going around the market and looking at vacant buildings and seeing people living behind them that it may be something that we might have to solve. And as a natural problem solver, someone who does that in you know, my business every day, I naturally took it upon myself to look into DuPage Pads and after meeting Carol Simler and understanding the vision that she has for that organization, um, I was hooked immediately. I mean, they do phenomenal work and I couldn't be more privileged to be a part of the young professionals group there and also uh, as well as on the board of directors where I get to directly help them go out and solve the issue across our county, which is, it's just been special. Right, well, it's, it's, a, it's an important issue. And again, one I think that most people aren't aware of until you somehow either hear about it from Carol or have exactly. a personal experience, which we're all trying to avoid. Right, yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your involvement with the chamber. Yeah, you know, I, when I think about this award, um, I, I just, there's, it wouldn't have been possible in any capacity without the chamber, not only because they issue the award, but because immediately upon entering the workforce as a young professional, this was a conduit to building my business, but building the relationships that uh, I'm fostering both personally and professionally. And those relationships have gotten me to a point in my business where uh, I've been able to be presented with opportunities like this. And so um, coming into the chamber, I directly sought out mentors, you know, seeing the popularity of the chamber. It's one of the largest in the state and hearing nothing but great things. Um, I knew that I needed to get deeper and deeper involved. So uh, I got involved in the Legacy Circle, which you may be familiar with. Right, is, I was going to ask about it. So yeah, yeah, just an incredible mentorship opportunity. Uh, both personally and professionally, we've got a group of 12, 12 members in our circle and we meet on a monthly basis solely for the purpose of sharing and passing down the legacy of the current community leaders around Naperville. And to me, that is um, an asset to not only our community, but just to my life as a whole, because the things that I take away from those meetings are invaluable. And then secondly, we started a commercial real estate group to you know, help the people in Naperville and around Naperville get more connected in the industry. And so I saw a need for a group specializing in the commercial real estate industry and felt there wasn't a better time to start a group than now and got the moving pieces together and grabbed a couple other co-founders and, and uh, we made it happen. So we meet on a quarterly basis and the chamber is, uh, is helping us around that as well. They've been terrific. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. It's exciting. And you mentioned uh, legacy, you mentioned mentors. And tell me a little bit about your dad. Yeah. I think he was both of that for you. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's ingrained in every level of who I've become as a person, but uh, absolutely in terms of my, uh, my interest in real estate and where I am today. Um, he has been in real estate for over 30 years and growing up with that level of confidence and um, 
knowledge of the real estate industry and people skills, the things that he would take me on as a, as a kid, like his meetings with clients or in building showings, uh, opened my eyes very early to this incredible industry. And uh, there's no way I would be anywhere uh, without him today. And I, you know, there's a story that, that I love to share. And when I was seven years old, he took me on a meeting. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I'd ever been in front of someone on a professional level. And he looked at me in the car and he said, okay, we're gonna get out. We're gonna walk up to Mr. Stein and you're gonna look him in the eye. And you're gonna shake his hand and say, hi, Mr. Stein, my name is Tom Peters and it's very nice to meet you. And here, here comes this really tall six foot five guy and he's really intimidating to me with a big trench coat on. And I walk up and I shake his hand and I say exactly uh, as I was supposed to say. And from that point forward, I was just, I was hooked. You know, I was hooked with building relationships and, and meeting new people. It's been amazing. That's a great story. That's, I, could, I can just see <laughs> a little Tom doing that. Oh, it's incredible. I have him to thank. I mean, if he hadn't taken it upon himself to take me, you know, I never would have had that chance. Tom, I was reading your bio, and something struck me that um, you had a quote there that said, if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. And yes. I so agree with you on that. Where does that come from? Yeah. Uh, w when I think of that quote, I think about my grandfather. Um, he has loved every single day he's spent working um, in the job that he does out west. He's in California. He's in the radio business. And, uh, and his passion for growing his business, for the things that most people don't like, the business development side, making those cold calls, which can be so nerve-wracking, um, has kind of bled directly into my outlook on things. And so um, it comes directly from him. When I, when I look at him, I think of a guy who is just so passionate to wake up in the morning, take on those challenges of the day, and, and go to sleep knowing that he lived that day to the fullest. And that's something I pride myself on every single day. That's awesome. Yeah. He sounds like a nice guy. He's phenomenal. Yeah. When we um, think about um, leadership, how would you characterize your leadership? Do you have a style? Or are you looking, are you working on a style? It's, it's a great question. I, I think as a leader, you constantly have to be a student as well. Um, I, don't, I don't look at myself as someone who is going to implement my strategy on other people uh, in whatever capacity. And so uh, I'm constantly a student of my environment. And I think that dictates the leadership style. Mm -hmm. And the best way to really, in my opinion, to get to know someone is to understand them first. And so, uh, again, I would say I'm a student. You know, I'm here to learn. And by learning and taking the interest in the other person or the situation, I think that uh, brings out the, the leadership style that most fits the scenario. So I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I have a certain style. I think, I'm, uh, I think it's kind of transient. It goes with the situation. Oh, no, I think that's smart. So talk to me a little bit about this uh, work-life balance. Now yeah. you are, you're a newlywed, but you are from here in Naperville. So yep. um, tell me a little bit about how you keep it all balanced. Yeah, uh, born and raised in Naperville. And as you know, it's a very high achieving city. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're a city full of very hardworking young professionals. And sometimes you can get caught up in only working. And so I've made it uh, a priority of mine to balance myself out on a day to day basis and on a weekend by weekend basis, because obviously we're working as hard as we can Monday through Friday. Um, but I've taken a different look on work life balance. And to me, what stuck out the most over the years of, of uh, being mentored is that it, life is not worth living if you're only living for the Saturdays and the Sundays of your week. And so I've made it a priority of mine to interject a lot of my balance throughout the week. And uh, not only in the office while I'm working, but also taking time outside of the office and outside of the job to whether it's go to the gym or go down to the DuPage River and cast a line and go fishing um, to make sure that I'm staying balanced throughout the week. And I find that not only do I work harder, but uh, I feel a lot more at ease. And going back to um, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's how I feel, truly, because I'm constantly balancing the things that I love, both professionally and personally. That's, that's well said, Tom. So well said. I'm going to try to practice that a little bit too. <laughs> Thanks for taking time out of your busy day and, and coming down Thank and chatting you. with me. It was a Thank pleasure you. to meet you and congratulations Thank you very on, much. The, on the award. Well Thank deserved. You. Thank you.